All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tutorial of Create Big Cannon. So this is a Create Submod. Uh, it's currently in beta, so a lot of uh, things are subject to change. So this is a... The, the mod is in a pretty early state. There's not even crafting recipes or anything. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the basics. So there's a lot of different cannons in this mod. There's different materials. So there's like cast iron, steel. There's other ones too. So each level of cannon has a different strength so it can have more powder more powder means well you can shoot further so i'm going to go ahead and show you this simple cannon right here so this is a cast iron cannon it's a breech loader and it has a sliding breech right here so what i have i have two powder charges and a solid shot so i'm going to go ahead and load it so this is a cannon loader it works just like a regular piston that you'd find in create mod so I've loaded up the cannon. Now I have to close the breach. There we go. The breach is nice and closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble the cannon. So this is the hammer side. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble it. When you hear that sound, that means the cannon is assembled. I'll show you guys this side. It's got a fuse. Put a button there. And I press that button to fire it. So once the cannon is assembled, we can aim it, right? So turn these mechanisms here, aim to the right, aim to the left, you can aim up and down. All right, so I'm going to shoot at this wall. This is a piece of solid shot. Let's see this thing. All right, wow. So we shot straight through this piece of wood and the projectile went all the way here and it broke through this floor right here. So we can see that the solid shot it can go through walls. It can go through at least two layers of wood, and then it probably killed some cows here. I don't know if we can see any evidence of that, but I've done some tests and this can definitely do a lot of damage to cows. So this next cannon is a muzzle loader. So we load this one from the front, straight down the muzzle like you would with like an old pirate ship type of cannon. Um, this one here, we're gonna load with grape shots. So the grape shot will just kind of spread out and it'll do damage to mostly mobs but also it can damage wood so we just load this thing up like that so we go to the hammer side and activate it the fuse side is right here I'm gonna aim this cannon up a little bit we're gonna try to hit those pigs all right, maybe a bit higher. Okay, we'll give this a shot. Hopefully, we'll take out some of the pigs. All right, so the grape shot. Yeah, we got two of those pigs right there. And you see it didn't damage the stone or these fences right here. So grape shot is good against mobs, mostly. Now let's move on to this next cannon. So this cannon is a bit different from the other one. So this is made out of steel. Um, and well, it's a breech loader, but it uses a screw breech. So I'll show you guys how this works in just a second. First, this thing right here, this is an explosive shell. So with explosive shells, we need fuses, right? So if you don't put a fuse, it's just gonna just gonna go and it's not gonna work so there's two types of fuses there are impact fuses and timed fuses so I'm gonna put an impact fuse on this one right here so there we go it looks just like a button so what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it so that when this shell makes impact with something um, it'll explode so we're gonna load this like that and then this breach is a little bit different so how it has to work is you have to actually move it with a piston. So we're gonna move it back with a piston and we also have to screw it. So you see this part right here? Well, we have to screw that in with this setup that we have right here. So you see, as I'm turning it, that screw kind of went in there. All right, so that's in there. And if it's not there completely, uh, the cannon will not assemble um, when I flick the switch. So I'm gonna flick the switch, our cannon is assembled. And these big ones, these uh, these steel ones, uh, well, you, you can use uh, hand cranks because they, they require too many stress units. So you need to use uh, motors and um, gear shifts and clutches. So I'm going to aim up a little bit. Not too much because this is going to go fairly straight. 
uh, because of the amount of powder. So this has four powder charges. These ones with the screw breech can go up to six. And you can see all that in, um, well, for example, I have just enough items. I hold shift. This tells me that with this breach, it has six strength. Um, this one with a uh, weaker cannon end, um, the steel sliding breach, well, that can only hold four powder charges. Okay, so let's shoot this thing and see what happens. All right. Okay, so we can see that. You know, that did some damage to the stone. That went in, eh, went in, went deep, and you know, just blew up all those pigs that were right there. So this is pretty devastating. This is, uh, I mean, it's a high explosive shell. Like, what do you expect? It's pretty powerful. All right, so moving on. The last type of shell is the shrapnel shell. So this is kind of, it's like a stronger grape shot shell, except you need a fuse. So I showed you guys the impact fuse, how that worked. Now I'm gonna show you the timed fuse. So for the timed fuse, if I right click, we can set a delay. So it starts off at one second and we scroll to change it. So this can go all the way up to, wow, 25 seconds and 15 ticks. I don't know why you need that much, but that's how it works. I'm gonna leave it at the minimum one second because my target is quite close. So I'll apply the fuse just like that and we see like a little button, it appears right there. So this is a simple cannon. This is a muzzle loader. I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. All right, the cannon is loaded. So let's fire this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble it on the hammer side. I'm gonna put a button on the fuse side. So we're gonna aim this, well, we're gonna aim this up a little bit because we don't wanna shoot our loader. Yeah, that looks, that looks okay. Maybe a little bit higher, okay. Now we are gonna shoot it. All right, so you see, I didn't actually hit my targets, but you see, well, it exploded right here. So we can see the smoke trail. Um, and this shows that after one second in flight, it exploded. So we're gonna try again. We're actually gonna try to shoot these pigs. All right, so we assemble it and we're gonna aim it up a little bit. We're gonna aim it up a little bit more than before. Uh, that should be good. All right, so you see this one went a bit further. It blew up and we did get one of the pigs. So there we go. So that is the shrapnel shell. So now we've seen all the shells in action. Um, now I'm actually gonna show you guys how to build a cannon from scratch. So let's go over here. Oh, and we got a nice target ahead of us. Okay, so first off, some of the components. We are gonna familiarize ourselves with these components. First off is the yaw controller. That's what lets you aim right or left. Yaw, like on an airplane. This is the cannon mount. So this is required and this one will let you point up or down. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off. I'm gonna put a large cogwheel on the ground because we will need that to control the yaw. Got the cannon mount here. Actually, I'm gonna put it this way so that the hammer is on this side and the fuse is on this side. So this one, I'm gonna make a simple cast iron, right? So this is pretty basic. It's just gonna be, um, have a regular end there. So I'm gonna put some, this is gonna have three cannons. One, two, three. And I'm gonna put the cannon end. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and Set up a system of cogs um, just to be able to control this thing, aim it how we want to. So you have to have a large cog wheel and then a small cog wheel if you want to use a hand crank because otherwise you won't be able to move it. Okay, so we have the cannon loader and we have the ram head for the cannon loader. And I'll also grab some piston extenders. Okay. So we need this end to be facing like this. Go ahead and put on the ram head. Okay. 
Actually, let's add some hand cranks. Now we're almost ready. So I'm just going to use a regular old solid shot. Give it two pieces of powder. And now we can load this thing. Nice. Okay. So, I'm going to flick that. That should have... Did that assemble? No, it didn't assemble. Ah, there we go. There we go. So now we can aim it. I hope this works. All right. So this this is going to be good. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Oh, so we just oh, we shot right over it. Ah, oh, man. Okay. We missed. We missed. Okay. So let's try this again. We won't aim as high this time. All right, that was a little low. Next time, a little bit higher. Okay, that's a pretty direct hit. So we got right through the middle. Oh man, this one went straight through. I can even go through here. And see, this would have, uh, these things are really powerful. They're pretty cool, and they're way funner than TNT cannons, if you ask me, because TNT cannons, you gotta kind of time it. So I'm, I mean, I'm definitely going to be incorporating these into some of my builds. They're just too cool. I love these new cannons. They're just amazing. So there you have it. I've showed you some of the different kinds of cannons, all the different kinds of ammo, and some basic setups. So there are some more advanced things you can do. Um, there's, you know, you can have auto loaders, but this video is just... Uh, just the basics. So this mod is in, I mean, it's in heavy development right now. So it's in beta. There's not even crafting recipes. So whatever you see here, it's probably bound to change quite a bit. So I wanted to show you guys the basics. So um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.